coming to you live from my parents' house. Yes, sir. We got the trailer. Oh, man. We got to do this. Take number two. What's up, everybody? Uh, I guess this is take two of the trailer because I did one around, well, a couple months. Yeah, like around a year ago last year uh, for the Essential Question podcast. And this is take two. So welcome. Oh, and you, so you quit after a year? No, you're a quitter. Oh, you just preach like, oh, keep going, but you just quit your podcast. Nah, nah, nah. We're just starting. This is a new chapter. This is the new thing. Welcome to the Changavi Show. The Essential Question Podcast is no more. It is no longer a thing. And now we are just about the Changavi Show. The last time I recorded one of these trailers, I ended up talking about drinkable yogurt, NPR, and Dixie D'Amelio's possible nicotine addiction. I don't even know if that was true. I don't know how we got there. Do not ask me. So let's try and maybe not do that this time. Uh, But for those of you that are new here, hi, I am Anuj Changabi, hence the last name of of my show, The Changabi Show, my name, my full name, Anuj Changabi, and welcome to The Changabi Show. I feel like when it comes to a lot of podcasts, they focus on one part of the world and do that really well. And I'm basically throwing that rule out the window and saying, no, I don't want to do that. And I want to really give people the full recap and the full world view and kind of give them the full picture as to some of the trends that I see in society. On the Changavi show, it's the way I best describe it is that it's a show that can talk about all sorts of topics and all sorts of trends in those topics. So being sports, pop culture, news, politics, and really anything in between. My hope is that the Changavi show is a place where I can share my opinions and provide an open dialogue where I can share my ideas about the world while at the same time people feel like they are empowered enough that they can clap back at me and tell me I'm wrong on my various opinions and we can have an open conversation that's productive and actually does something unlike the American government in the country that I live in. Shout out to you guys. (laughs) But in addition to the Changavi show, we do a lot of other things here, okay? And I also have the Changavi after show, which I release once a week along with the Changavi show. And that's a much more chill, laid back vibe where, frankly, I'm just shooting the breeze with my audience and talking about various incomplete thoughts that I've been working through in my brain. And sort of on the Changavi after show, I attempt to articulate these incomplete thoughts and, you know, thoughts backed by no research to the rest of the viewers. So the Changavi After Show is kind of for people that want to see a more unpolished, raw, authentic side of things. Uh, And the Changavi Show would be for someone who wants to see more researched and articulate arguments. Uh, As someone who really doesn't like to hide anything, the Changavi After Show is a really good unfiltered look at the way a Gen Zer thinks through their problems. And I feel like it's a unique thing that really isn't being done uh, amongst a lot of podcasters. In addition to all of those shows, I also do a segment related to personal stories as well, where I write stories and share little gems and experiences that I've gone through in my life with the audience. I feel like here in 2022, uh, people oftentimes are looking for human connection, and I hope that my stories can resonate with some of the audience members and help us all connect in some weird sort of way. Okay, that's enough of the trailer. So I'm going to finish this real quick and say this. I got three rules on the Changavi show. Be open-minded, be kind, and every perspective is welcome. As long as you follow these rules, welcome to the Changavi show community. We're excited to have you. This is going to be a really fun journey and get ready because we're just getting started. Chapter two begins now.